So here's a quick rundown of Atwood's. Now the objectives for the Atwood's Machine Lab, we're going to use Atwood's Machine to measure the relationship between force and acceleration, and then you're going to graph this relationship. Now if you know Newton's second law, eh, you may have a spoiler alert, but that's alright. We're going to do this anyway, because that's... So this is Atwood's Machine. It may look like a pulley, but looks can be deceiving. And what you're going to do, it has two masses hanging on it. This is what makes a difference. You have one mass here, one mass here. If mass 1 is greater than mass 2, this mass is going to drop. This mass is going to go up. It's going to cause them to accelerate, and they're going to accelerate at the same rate. Uh, here I just put in the negative sign because one's going down, one's going up. But you can draw your diagram however you want. So if we look at this, this is a more in-depth look. Again, mass 1 is going to go down. We'll call this A by mass 1. I meant mass 2. And this is mass 1. It's going to go up, and you can see that negative A1 equals A2. Now, look at your handout, and it'll actually go through this. But the important thing to note is that the mass difference between these accelerates. So the mass difference, mass difference and gravity, can't forget gravity, causes the acceleration causes your acceleration. And you can think about this, if these two are balanced, it's not going anywhere, but if this is really heavy, it's going to fall. So one important thing, you're going to measure very small masses and forces, so mass everything. Don't take anything for granted. And the other thing is have the more massive objects on the right, which makes sense because this is the mass that's going to fall. So mass everything, everything, mass everything, and put the more mass object on the right. So we need to know which mass is accelerating. And you know it's this hanger, it's the second hanger, it's the extra mass on the hanger. So, so far we have M1 plus M2 plus 10 grams, which is always on the hanger, plus, if you'll notice, this pulley is also going to move. And we'll talk about this in a little bit, but this pot over here, this is very fast or accelerates a lot. This accelerates equals zero, A, uh, big A acceleration. And we're going to apply, well, we'll get to this in a minute, but for here it's going to be the mass of the pulley over 2 that contributes to your mass. So mass of the pulley over 2, just because we're averaging the spot in the middle with the spot on the edge. We'll get to this a little later in your book, but this is your total mass that's accelerating. And in this lab you're actually going to solve for the mass of the pulley. And here's a little spoiler, you will hit this, and it will go, and you will see the speed of science. And I don't want don't to give too much away here, so we're going to stop. But it's going to go down there. Now, one thing that I want you to tell you on this, you will always have 10 grams. So you have a 5 gram, a 2 gram, got another 2 gram, and one gram. They total 10. You will always put all of these on either hanger. All right. So the total mass will always be 10 grams extra that you've added. But what this does mean is you'll start off with 10 grams and then zero. Then your next run you'll have nine grams and then one gram extra on the other, then eight and two. And you'll notice that if you're looking at these mass differences, here you have 10, here you have 8, here you have 6, all the way down to 2 grams. Now also note that when you calculate newtons, put your masses in kilograms. So if we're looking at this, you've got this little mass, it is going to fall a distance delta y, and you can calculate acceleration from this. You will do this multiple times. You will have timing will always have plus or minus. Your fall distance, you will measure this multiple times, so you will have plus or minus. And then after you do this, timing all your sets, so repeat for all your masses, repeat for mass differences. Then after you do that, you will repeat and add the extra masses we've provided. And then you'll do this. So you'll wind up with two graphs. One graph 
for your original masses and one with the extra masses provided. So let's derive this real quick. You're calculating acceleration. You know that delta y, your y final, zero, y initial, whatever it happens to be. You know v not y, actually, it starts at rest. So you get negative equals one over half a t squared. Your acceleration is gravity, so or acceleration due to gravity. That is a huge no-no. So a equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So you will get, and since this negative, this negative cancels here with that, you wind up with your end product being acceleration equals y initial to y initial over t squared. And this is the magnitude of your acceleration. So we know that in this lab, your air, well, anything you calculate is going to have a plus or minus value. So your, all your accelerations will have a plus or minus value. And since you're multiplying or dividing, in this case you're dividing, and this gets multiplied, remember that you are going to add your percents. So let's look at this. We have one instance of this, so your total error, your percent error or uncertainty, uncertainty equals your percent from your delta y measurement, Plus, we've got our timing measurements, and they are squared. So it's plus your percent timing times 2, because there are two instances of it. And this will always get added to your acceleration. So the final thing we're going to be doing is graphing. And you know Newton's second law that acceleration equals F over M. So let's spread this out a little bit. We get A equals 1 over M times f, compare it to the equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. Find out that if you are graphing force pairs up with x versus acceleration, this slope should be 1 over m. And from here, you can get the mass of the pulley equals some number, and that's what you're trying to find. Um, again, remember, this is your total mass. So this would be the hangers, the pulley, and the extra 10 grams, or any extra weight that you've added to this. Hope this helps.